Hello again. Today I'll be showing you how to make efficient use of the reporting options available in EasyStamp and specifically how to filter and restrict what gets printed. We had a customer who collects uh, US plate blocks, plate number blocks and plate number coils exclusively. They had uh, diligently entered some of their stamps and decided to run a plate number block or PNB report to see what he had entered so far and when he ran the PNB search report he used the default options and promptly got a very long report although it was accurate it was much longer than what he wanted or needed when he contacted us to ask why the report was so long when he had only entered about a dozen or so items so far we realized that he had not set the filters properly or was not aware of how to use them uh, correctly so I will, today I'll demonstrate how to set the filters and PNB searches and PN, uh, PNC plate number coil searches and we'll set some filters to see the effects. So first I've inventoried some PNB so we have something to work with and I'll show you them uh, here. So I'm just going to navigate through what I've already entered in the US database for plate number blocks. So you can see I've entered one for plate 1541 for number 300 and so forth. So I've entered, you know, a few. Okay, so we're going to run a PNB search and we can do this from the search menu and click on PNB search report. Or um, what we can do is just right click in the PNB area here. So if you right click anywhere and then click on PNB search report which is what I will use uh, as I find it uh, more convenient. Either method will work though. So I'll first run the report with default options by clicking on reset and then I'll click on find and show. So as you can see we get a fairly wrong rep a long report. Uh, it's got some of our, it's got all of our inventory in it but it shows you every single plate number for these uh, SCONT numbers that we've inventory, and some of these can have you know six, seven, uh, eight hundred different uh, plate numbers. So it can be a, a difficult report to kind of uh, to look at or even print. So I'll show you what you can do to to make this a lot more uh, a lot more meaningful and a lot shorter. So we'll run we'll run the report again, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to set some filters so that um, so that we can restrict what we see in the report so let's say we wanted to only see items that we have inventoried with at least a quantity of one for any plate number we simply uh, we simply set the filter for PMB row quantity greater than zero and then the exclude plate matching numbers so I'll show you how you do that you click on exclude non-matching plate numbers and then where it says PNB row quantity instead of all values what we're going to do is say anything um, let's do greater than zero and click find and show and now we only see the items that we asked for in other words anything that had a quantity greater than zero but we don't see all the other plate numbers. So it makes the report a lot, uh, a lot easier to read. So let's say we only wanted to see items that we have inventoried uh, that had a quantity greater than one. Again, same thing. What you want to do is you right click, go to PNB search report, and this time, instead of zero, we just say greater than one or five. I think I had a couple that had a, uh, a quantity of five. So why don't we do that? So instead of uh, greater than, I'm going to say greater than or equal to. So anything with greater than or equal to five should show up in the report. And there they are. There's one with five and another one with seven. Now the exact same principle works for plate number coils. So if we advance a little bit. So here's some items that I've inventoried for plate number coils. So if we right click in this area here, you can run the PNB search or PNC search report. Same kind of thing from the menu. I just like to run them from the uh, from the actual tab. So you click on the PNC tab and you right click, click on PNB PNC search report, click on reset, and I'll show you what happens when you run it. 
and you get all the plate numbers for the <coughs> excuse me for those plate numbers for those Scott numbers that we'd inventoried but that's probably not what you want to see sometimes it may be but usually not so we'll run the PNC search report again and this time we'll exclude the non-matching plate numbers and we're going to say anything with had a quantity greater than zero and then click find and show so now only the ones that we have actually inventoried that had a quantity of one or of one or higher. As you can see, running these reports and playing with the uh, the filter options is really uh, uh, can really help you narrow down on what you want to do. There's a lot of um, options available. There's different. Uh, filters that you can fir uh, filter on net quantity or net value. It just depends on what you're trying to do. I hope this helps and if you have any questions uh, please feel free to email us with your questions at staff at easystamp.com. Till next time.